Let's put the spotlight on earnings now, beginning with Yes Bank that posted its second quarter numbers beating speed expectations. Now, the bank's net interest income rose by 30%, but high provisions and asset quality worries persist for the bank. Joining me now is Rajat Munga, the CFO for Yes Bank. Rajat, uh, good morning and thank you so much for taking the time out. Now, the profits were above street estimates. What has led to this? If you could explain that, please. Yes, I think the uh, uh, market expectations are, are always uh, difficult to uh, anticipate and predict. But I think the, uh, the, the bank's performance has been quite in line with the, the recent, uh, I would say, uh, the trends that we have been witnessing. Uh, you will uh, see that the bottom line of the bank has increased by 21% year on year in the third quarter. In the second quarter ended September 30th, uh, 2013. It's backed by a respectable 29% uh, increase in uh, uh, net interest income, uh, though there has been a sharp 60% uh, increase in uh, other income, which is again uh, contextualized by about 100 crores of uh, gains on account of swaps, which the bank uh, had in its books, which would have performed uh, better when interest rates went up, and also counter the uh, consequences of uh, uh, the MTM provisionings on account of the bond books, uh, which the bank has been holding. So I think uh, in aggregate, the, uh, the performance has been uh, quite satisfactory. Given the uh, macroeconomic backdrop, uh, RBI policy, uh, interest rate volatility, I think the outcomes uh, are, uh, are reasonably satisfactory. Rajat, the net interest margins came in at about 2.9%. Now, what is the outlook as far as this is concerned, especially uh, where the industry experts have now started to anticipate rate hikes uh, for the rest of the year? Yes, so uh, we did uh, report a, a net interest margin position of 2.9% for the uh, September quarter. This already has a 10, 10 basis point reduction from the June quarter uh, of this current year. I think it, it already uh, reflects the uh, current RBI position on interest rates, which uh, is reflective of MSF rate at 9% currently being the operative rate. And in the parts of the last quarter, the MSF rate, which was operative in uh, most of the second quarter, was even at its peak at 10.25%. So going forward, if at all RBI is looking at raising repo rates further, it is still a function of what the effective rate is, is going to be. And in our opinion, the effective rate will move away from uh, the MSF rate of 9% back to the uh, repo rate. Even if repo rates are hiked, the effective operative rate is going to come down from 9% to whether it is 7.5 or 7.75. I think we will hear, hear from the uh, Reserve Bank uh, in, in, in the next week. As far as margins are concerned, I think in our opinion, uh, given the circumstances, even if uh, interest rates are not uh, changed, we, we still believe that the margins will not look worse from the numbers that we have already seen. And depending upon how RBI uh, unfolds the or normalizes the interest rate structure, we can expect that our margins also will begin to normalize closer to the 3.3.1% 3 levels that we were seeing before the RBI policy uh, of MSF introduction came into place.